Have you talked to him since he got operated? Yes, I talked to him yesterday. So he's doing fine and uh, everything's going well. Now he's, he's going to start rehab, I think, uh, tomorrow. What are your thoughts on something like quarter fighting five rounds of a torn bicep and like the whole 12 rounds either way and somebody like Regal who's not getting beat up and he quits on the stool. What are your thoughts on that? Well, a box is a tough sport and of course the other thing is um, Miguel has a lot of heart and so forth. Um, when Regan now quit on the stool I was very surprised but I was a little disappointed and um, He's going to have a tough time getting on TV again. I mean, because he's a counterpuncher, he's a little bit boring, boring style, and now he quit on top of that. Doesn't look good. What's the best chance to beat Lomachenko, in your opinion, Freddie? Mm, maybe by gun. <laughs> <laughs> he's that good? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but he's a good fighter, great footwork, uh, fast hands, great combinations. He really looked good, good the other night. Uh, um, he's going to be tough to beat. I mean, uh, you know, 500 wins as an amateur, one loss. I mean, this guy is a very, very, very good fighter. Freddie, um, great fighters do great things. They're there to be great. Is what the Machinko did that night was that great? And is it a credible win? It was a fighter coming up two divisions. Bernard Hopkins moved up two divisions. How do you weigh all that in? And was that a credible win for Brazil Machinko? Well, he fought a he fought a very good fighter. And the thing is, the fighter, you know, he wasn't forced to fight the fight. He wasn't forced to gain the weight. He signed the contract and he fought. He, he signed to fight the fight. So he put himself in that position. I mean, he thought he, he would win. He promised me he would knock him out. But um, it didn't come true. But, um, but you know, he fought a very good fight. And uh, I don't think we, I don't think we should criticize him for the guy being smaller. I mean, this happens all the time. You know, it's with the challenges, weight classes, and so forth. And um, uh, he was actually way too big for him, it seemed like. And, um, <laughs> And too strong and uh, and too fast. I mean, there was a lot of factors that were on his side. It wasn't just his. It wasn't just his size. Uh, he's better in all areas. Yes, um, Bob Aram seems to be sold on Omachenko's greatness, gone as far as to say that he hasn't seen anything like that, even Muhammad Ali, Manny Pacquiao, all these great fighters, you know, he feels that it's something different. What did you make of those comments if you heard Well, you know, he believes in the fighter and he's trying to make, he's trying to make him a, a, a pay-per-view star and uh, he probably will get there soon, but um, yeah, you know, that's his opinion.